Let's see our ultimate. Oh, God. Oh, you guys are all looking at what I'm looking at, right? Like, that's that shit's insanely crazy. insanely good. Let's see our ultimate. That shit's crazy. All right. This is Wuthering Waves first impressions. Is it worth playing from Lazy Peon? We all know Lazy Peon is typically a little bit more negative with his reviews than everything else because he's an old, jaded Black Desert Online player that hates everything. Wuthering Waves is a brand new free to play open world anime RPG hero collector that has some of the most fast paced, intense action combat in its genre. In this yeah, I'll just say why I love Wuthering Waves. I think the graphics look incredible, I think the characters are hot. And the combat is awesome. Like, I look at Genshin Impact's combat, it doesn't look nearly as good. Right? I look at Honkai Star Rail, obviously they're not even really comparable. There's like different types of games, but they're both gotchas, so. This game you awaken as a character called Rover in a mysterious new world that's under construction. Oh no, he picked male Rover. He bricked his account. Well, that's a wrap. As you explore the world and uncover its secrets, you meet other characters known as Resonators, who will join Directed. you in taking down various enemies, bosses, challenges, and storylines. During combat, you can build teams of three Resonators, swapping each of them in and out of combat. Damn, who's that blue? Who's that blue skirt girl? You need Jesus. So do I. Combat utilizing their intro. Wait till you see Tao Ki, man. And outro skills, rotating ultimate abilities, resonance abilities, and my favorite of all, the echo abilities. Throughout the world in Wuthering Waves, you encounter tons of monsters known as Tacit Discords. Wait, who is that? Or TDs in Wait, short. Wait, what the f is that? Sometimes when you kill them, you'll be able to absorb their echo. Wait. Is that the new. Wait, what the. When did this get released? A day ago? What? <laughs> New Resonator Zay Z. <laughs> oh no, he sounds like a monkey. Hold on. Jaja! 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 Ooh, Jaja! Can I help you, sir? What time? God, it's shameless, guys. It is shameless. About to say might upset you please don't worry i'm she looks like she's stuck in a dryer I'm a professional whatever my client wants he'll get i've had another brilliant idea so the painting needs further adjustments right now uh, are the details written down no um and you'd like it by today same as before but show I me the comment a week's notice. I don't know about you guys. I, I, I don't like any of this. Uh, this is all just like typically very boring stuff to me. It, it does give me a little backstory to the character. And I know that a lot of the gotcha players are basically just anime weebs and they eat this shit up. But like, I just want to see what she like the combat. Come again. <laughs> I, I mean. You mean. It, it'd be best if you could. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bro, the Ulu shit's crazy. What was your new idea? It's simple. This is a painting of my childhood village. It needs to look bursting with life! Um, like this? Hmm. The scenery's fine. The people need more life. Like that? No, no. More dry. Huge help me step bro energy. That's what I'm saying, bro. I'm looking around for a dryer. Uh, more energy! Hell no. Uh, no. The revelries of life. Have you not experienced any? Chickens clucking, children playing, laughter filling the air. You get it? This is more about this guy than it is about her. Can we please get the camera back on the female? <laughs> uh, yes, you. sir. Those were the days. The kitchen smoke rising from every home. Ah, oh, this guy's a piece of shit. Neighbors gossiping over laundry lines. Parents yelling at misbehaving children. Everything in disarray, yet heartwarming nonetheless. You still with me? Oh, I I'm listening. In fact, I know exactly what you're looking for. That breathy voice is crazy, guys. Now, just leave the rest to me. Oh, the paintbrush is so cool. Oh, 
I feel like that Mickey Mouse game. Oh, Holy jiggles, you shut your mouth and accept it. It's just as I remembered. There, that should be a pond. And a house over there. No way, too big, smaller. Uh, that tree, over to the left. Oh, wait, it, it needs to be lower. Yes, yes, yes. People want Oh, this guy's finishing in the background, but to the wrong thing. Literally insane. People, the streets wider, the view more beautiful, and, and, and a forest of pure tranquility! <gasps> oh, this guy's gay as a bag of dicks. It's pretty crazy. Alright, show me the combat. No! Okay, good. Interesting. Oh, cool effects. Okay. Okay, I'll be honest. First takes on that. I love the paintbrush. I think they could have done it better. She's not as hot as Cheng Li or Yin Lin. So like she's kind of on like a Jin Shi level of like, yeah, whatever attractiveness. But you know what made Jin Shi a great character? It was not the fact that she was attractive. It's the fact that her gameplay is really just that good. She feels really good to play. Her combat is super smooth and focus is so good it's really gonna come down to the gameplay i'll have to watch people play her a little bit i don't know if i'm gonna get her myself though i, I, I will see equipping that echo then allows you to transform into that monster to perform Do you have cheng li i was thinking about rolling for her today but i, don't, I do not have cheng li no i have a bunch of pulls should i pull for cheng li or should i wait for this the paint woman Aside from best in genre combat and an interesting ecosystem, Wuthering Waves also features a massive fully open world with puzzles, collectibles, world bosses, monsters that you can infinitely farm for progression, and of course, an epic, fully voice acted cutscene rich those. ongoing story that's progressed with every update. Going into this first impressions, it's important to mention that I've had well over a thousand hours in Genshin Impact at this point, as well as played multiple other games of this genre. This is my very first, um, got a game ever and i love it i love weathering waves i think it's super great i do not like how much money i've had to spend on it but i suppose that that is the genre so i'll be using my previous experience as a basis for comparison i think the the uh the storyline is just terrible in weathering waves i do not like that but that's my baseline for games you understand that i main black desert online yeah so you could literally just have two characters talking to each other with big boobs and still outdo black desert Said. This video is sponsored by Wuthering Waves, but this is a game that I've wanted to cover. Oh any wow, they sponsored way, to make a video. And the devs said I can critique the game the same as any normal video. Click the link in the description below to download Wuthering Waves for free now, and use gift code Wuthering Gift to get a bunch of epic loot to help you get started. Additionally, with the release of Patch 1.2, everyone can claim the free five-star character Zhang Li Yao from participating in the 1.2 event. So, when the does that happen? Wait, when do we get when do we get Zheng Li Zhao? No download now. Wait, what Wuthering the fuck? Waves, dude, or waifu? Obviously, going with the waifu. Oh my god! Thank goodness. I thought he bricked his account, guys. We're good. He picked the he picked female rover. We're good. August fifteenth. Awesome. This is how it is in these games. So you guys need to tell me if I need to roll Trippy for Zheng Li. Intro cutscene. Ethereal waifu floating down. We awake to two other waifus. You got some dialogue. Oh, there's a skip button in the top left. I appreciate that. Yep. As much as I do enjoy this genre of game. I told myself I was gonna sit there and listen to the entire story and listen to them talk, but God, these bitches just yap. They just go on and on and on. I made it as long as I could. Six minutes. I hate it when there's no skip option. For people like me who just love to jump into the combat and kill stuff, fantastic. And we're in the game and straight away, my character, extremely hot. Let's not talk around it. It is what it is. And the it's true. Rover's got one of the best runs in the game and the thigh pressure is crazy. Art style of this game I'm just saying. looks fantastic. Very nice. The left click feels really good. 
Right clicks a dodge. It seems like you can dodge quite a lot. Look at that run, guys. That. Hold can on, he's he's it up. Yeah, yeah there you go. Sprint, but yeah, look at that. That's crazy. To... That is an insane run. So good. I mean, they really nailed Use it. Use your like, stamina bar once you're sprinting. That's nice. If there was an eye tracker for this game, it would go so hard. The jumping's a little bit abrupt. Pick up everything you see in the world, obviously. Run up to a wall, press shift. It like speeds you up the wall. That's cool. Haven't got any abilities yet, so I'm just spamming my left click. Performing attacks is filling this bar at the bottom. Hold to do a heavy attack. This doesn't seem like it's going to be one of those games that takes ages for the combat to feel good. It feels good right off the bat. Immediately, and, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. We got another ability unlocked. Resonance Liberation. This is my R ability. What's this do? Kind of garbage, to be honest. If you compare rovers like OG alt, not like Havoc rover, like the OG rover alt, it just ain't that great. And now a big boy's popped out. Let's test the dodge. Like, you compare that to Jinshi's ultimate, it ain't even close, guys. Like, it, it's fucking stupid. This have, like, Yin Lin's boob mechanic and her ultimate is insane. Perfect dodge. Ooh, Endless like, hours of entertainment. Down a bit when you when you dodge. Really no, this is like Wuthering the combat. Like the Genshin with better combat and hotter characters. That's basically what it is. Early impressions. If you're more of a child, you play Genshin. If you're more of an adult, you play Weathering Waves. Of the you know combat so far are kind fantastic. Of where this game actually allows you to hide the UI during cutscenes whilst the characters. But are yeah, talking. they're very this similar. Is really games. nice. Like if if there's like very a nice scene where you can take a cool screenshot or something. My YouTube brain is telling me that this is very good for thumbnails. Glider module. Okay. Let me guess. Well, I'll just double jump. You got a code for Weathering Waves? No, I just like the game and I play it. Cool it's glider. What is that? Some I was not sponsored bird. in any way this to play Wuwa. It just looked badass. like a good game. I am I am super into games that have great combat, good graphics, and hot characters. That's all it takes. I'll play your game. I don't care what genre it is. Well, you can lock the camera with the middle mouse button. Our ability, big damage, switch to this character, pop her E into her R. The lock on camera when you're fighting bosses. I have S6. I forget her name. I'm forgetting her name right now. I have her at S6. It's literally insane. It's the combat She's scenes crazy. Really She's actually really fun. He's cinematic and always popped out wings. Dude, it's like a proper anime boss. Oh, you gotta oh, parry that. Press F. Bro, you gotta get the parry. So that like switches her in, does big damage. You can switch so often and your abilities are on like a really short cooldown as well. Wuthering waves. You've got my attention. Well, and now I can just You've roam got off. my attention. Go Wait till the girls start laying on top of each other during the main story. That's pretty crazy. One, still some big damage. That's Enjoy a pretty combat. insane moment. So we've killed this. Let's absorb it. Echo obtained. What well, I can like use it to get powers. This is what so I have to do now is I have to farm echoes like really hard i'm max data bank level i'm like level 46 or 47 union level i've got my my shit at max level all of my my skills and everything are leveled up it's time I, i've got to get like really good echoes and like level up my echoes so i can do more damage i suppose i should find more things to absorb oh and that's also given me a skill as well so let's try using it. it transforms me temporarily okay that i need the blue skirt girl's name guys <laughs> what the f is her name? I don't remember what. You know what? I'll just boot up Weathering Waves. Hold on. This will be easy. I'll just boot up Weathering Waves and pull her up. I'll, I'll pull her up. That's really cool. So, can I find more things to absorb? Yang Yang. That's it. That's it. It's Yang Yang. Oh, another thing to absorb. A whiff waff. Let's equip a whiff waff. Let's see what ability it does. Oh, you like summon it and it does some AoE on the floor. You know, pick it. up your loot. I can already tell these. Bro, this. Look at that. I forgot the camera angles are kind of based. Wuthering Waves characters are going to be very popular for cosplayers. The game seems God, to be like so. traditional Asian fantasy One could only with hope. modern cyberpunk. Looks like we just unlocked Chixia. And she's part of the team. What abilities does she have? Ah, a gun user. Oh, I... oh and if I hold down... Chixia sucks. Don't play Chixia. Actual crap. I feel like all the gun users are garbage. Left click, it actually goes into am the I, Am mode. I crazy? The animation I Alto, Chixia, bro, they just haven't made, they haven't made anybody good that does good. This game you can use her, she just, she's just not that fantastic. good. The way she moves when she attacks, it feels very grounded and realistic, but it also doesn't feel clunky. 
So right now it seems I'm just free. Another really good run from to Yang go Yang. Off, do a bit of map exploration. Do what I want. Pick up the main story when I'm Fortunately, ready. Yang Yang is really easy to get. The wall running in this game is bloody fantastic. It is. You can actually shit. just straight run up walls. It's not some tedious climbing system. Wow. I I'm stunned he hasn't tried to go sideways on a wall yet, bro. That shit's crazy. That shit's literally crazy, bro. I saw, look, all I'm saying, bro, this time, bro, like, I... Let him figure it out, bro. I just scaled that mountain like it was nothing. Two NPCs looking off into the distance. Can we kill him? So what do I need to do to unlock this? Maybe I need to like hit all of these in a certain amount of time. Yeah. These are puzzles designed for like nine-year-old children. So whenever I can't solve one, I just turn off the game and give up. I usually just take two days off and lay in my bed. Yeah, probably like this. Yeah. And that unlocks the chest. Got it. Easy little puzzle. This game also has a really nice soothing ambience to it. Definitely digging the vibe and the music. Oh, she Music's does fire really good, damage. Yeah. So these monsters are immune to her attacks. Got it. Good thing I noticed that. I didn't even realize that this game had elemental interactions and, until just now. Probably should have opened my eyes and seen it, but there we go. Right, let's equip some more echoes because I've absorbed quite a few things now. Ah, so each of these... This was the most confusing thing for me as a non-gacha player was understanding how the echoes worked and what I was supposed to do with them. Echoes give different Very um, like damage bonuses. We can also level up our characters, so let's do that. This game's given me a tremendous- Like I went to go level up an echo and my chat was like, no, no, that's the turtle, bro. You can't, that goes on for Rena. What are you doing? This feeling of freedom oh my right God, after that. I don't know. it's one of like, those games where if you can see it in the distance you can go there and i really do enjoy playing games like that so you've got resonance nexus which uncover the map and you can fast travel to and then you've got the small you your health back which are the beacons yeah. which don't you don't get your health map, back from the beacons fast travel to so you can fast travel pretty much everywhere in this game so you can cook in this game i'm guessing it provides some buffs cook some I have not explored the cooking too much. I do the synthesis all the time, though. He was delicious. Bro, what is a car spider? <laughs> it's a big I've boy spider. I've never seen an enemy that looks like that in any- I love- the dodge feels so good, guys. The dodge and the parry is what really roped me into the game. Like, watching you slow-mo dodge their attack feels so good. And then the parry sound is kind of a nut. Any game ever. <laughs> Literally great. Waves artists getting very creative with their enemy design. I need to absorb it, please. Nice, we got the absorb. Nobody's hardy altered they nothing. Said I could be anything. So I became a car Oh, you that's too. really well, cool as well. That You're ability. Right now, I fair. like that. So now I've unlocked a decent amount of the map. Let's continue with the MSQ. Oh, T to use grapple. Let's try it. Oh, you, we you actually again, again? Okay, we're good. Air. That's cool. Oh, this is the summoning system, is it? Oh, yeah, bro. They really sell you on Janjin in this in this in this lobby. It's pretty Let's crazy. Let's try our first summon. We got Bizy. I have so many Bizies. It's crazy. Hey, mom, can we have Verena? No, we have Verena at home. Use just the character that I met in the MSQ. We've actually got 30 summons. Cool. Okay, uh, let's see if we can get a five star. We got a new character. Oh, I'm not, any not this guy. God, this guy. I hate this guy. Dude's in my team. So oh my GG, God, bro. You're on the sideline. I have him at S6. I literally have six copies of that garbage character. My friend. Oh my god. So we can test out Chang. That is Chang Li, if you guys were wondering. That is who I should be pulling so, for GG, in a few minutes. You're here. on the sideline, my friend. We do not have Chang Li yet. Character trial, so we can test out Chang Li. So Chang Li's a five star and she is the featured character on this current Chang Li is very attractive. I actually feel like Yin Lin's hard. Banner. She looks really Chang Li was really over sexualized, but well. I'm okay with that. Chang Li, does she do big damage? I like those attack animations. Oh my god. Chang Li feels insanely good. Let's see our ultimate. Bird now. Oh god. Oh my god. You guys are all looking at what I'm looking at, right? Like that's just crazy. Insanely good. Let's see our ultimate. Bird. 
That shit's crazy. Now. Oh Damn my dude. god, that damage the is insane. combat feels so good because you've got even better echoes. Like, I've got this one. It's like a demon on a motorbike. That's crazy. Ah, oh, man. I really want to get Chang Li now. There it is. There it is. Oh, wait, what? This is a side scroller. I was not expecting this. I like her face more. I think Chang Li's face is better. I think Yin Lin's animations are better. If you know, you know. That's really threw me off, having my perspective changed like that. I wonder if there'll be a side-scrolling boss fight here somewhere. Oh, and then the perspective changes back to third person. That's really cool. That's a cool character. Uh, let's try. Oh, God. Gion is like the easy mode of every everything weathering waves. I love Gion. Oh, thank God for him. I just hold down left mouse button and parry everything. Thank Christ. Wow. Okay, so he's a spear user. I'm still really early on into the game, but even still, the MSQ boss fights are starting to get really fun. Like, these bosses aren't just dying in one second. So he's Dosa. <laughs> no, no. I can get a few, like... See, like, that's his alt right there. Like, really good combos And then a, off, you man. literally summon a dragon and, like, beat the shit out of people with a dragon. Dodge. The game like isn't insulting my intelligence. Can you get outfits? Kind of crazy. In this? Dosa has a blue dragon, but he doesn't wield it like that. Game. I need to know He's better, for Dosa. research purposes, of course. Yeah, no I just saw this Egg no trailer. I didn't even know that that was out. For the characters in this game. No way. No, I, just I don't it. think there is. Okay. After playing Chang Li for the trial, I decided it was time to check out. <laughs> we got another one, boys. We got another one. <laughs> Like, ah, oh, shit. Oh, the gacha system to Here potentially try my luck at pulling her. Gacha in Wuthering Waves is overall slightly better than the standard for this genre. Hard pity on banner characters is at 80 pulls instead of the usual 90. There's still a. That's Tao Ki, if you guys were wondering. Um, man of culture character. She is terrible. But she does have certain assets. 50 50, which I've never liked, but on the weapon banner. Did you guys see what he snuck in right there? Oh, did you guys see that shit? That's just crazy. <laughs> did you guys see that shit, bro? That's crazy. Hold up. Look. <laughs> that's a premium edit. That's a premium edit right there. But on the weapon banner, there is no 50-50, which makes it much fairer than other games of this genre. I love it. In addition, you also get... Wait, he got it on the second ball? 50 which makes it much fairer than other excuse me other what games of this genre in addition you also get convene tokens which you can then use for guaranteed summons unfortunately for me i had the absolute worst luck possible enjoy your furry femboy i hope you're happy together in summoning chang li i hit hard absolutely brutal for those of you that don't know, there is a pity system. So like, it's like 80 pulls and you get a pity, right? But on the first attempt, it's 50-50, whether you get a normal resonator or you get the like the, the new banner one, like the new one, right? In this case, Cheng Li. He lost the 50-50. The next time he pulls, he will get Cheng Li. Hard pity, lost the 50-50, and got the one five star I didn't want. I did Tragic. eventually get Cheng Li after 160 pulls, and God, that's the full double pity. That's that's. I think now thing. I've surely used oh. up all my bad luck. So next time I go to pull a banner character, I'm gonna oh. get them on my first try. Oh my God, bro! And that's surely how it works, right? I am me. That's what she looks like. Never mind. She hotter than Yinlin. I take it back. She she hotter than Yinlin, bro. Fortunate to have you. All right, so let's try this boss challenge. So you go to these rift things. Oh, so that just instantly summons the boss. Level oh, okay. 35. Are we strong enough? Yeah. He's about to get run, right? This like... is a good amount of challenge. Dodge, switch, big damage. 
pop the ulti. Yeah, I, just, I might simply need to upgrade my character. He gets or no at least damage. upgrade the weapons. I have no damage at all. Weapons or anything. Let's TP out, get the heal. Kind of based team, though. Did you guys see the team he was running with? He's got Rover, Yang Yang, and Cheng Li. Who needs healers? Just don't get hit. Pop the ulti. Yeah. I, just, I might simply need to upgrade my character or at least upgrade the weapons. I have not upgraded any weapons He's or anything. Doing no Let's damage. TP out, get the heal, and try again. We're going to upgrade our weapons first, though. Okay, so that should be a significant power oh my increase. God, did he just upgrade the sword of the Voyager? What are we doing? Bro, he's griefing. Holy shit. Can we also level up this character? Attempt number two. Yeah, we're doing way better this time. Even still, the boss has a lot of health. And this is intense. First time challenge complete. GG. Wow, he actually oh, beat we it. Can absorb it. I'm impressed. Oh, that's cool. What's this? Odyssey of Beginnings. Rover's crit nice. rate is increased. Oh, I probably... This is the gotcha system, guys. For those of you that have never seen it before, you can actually get... Remember how hard it was to get Cheng Li in the first place? Okay. If you get duplicates of Cheng Li, it makes her stronger. This is Rover in this case. But, like, you can get all the way up to one, two, three, four, five, six duplicates to make them stronger. Probably got that for progressing. That's like starring her up. I would never do anything like this. I would never, ever be baited. into doing something like this for any reason. I have never in my life, okay? Like, literally never. Up. Okay, so now she's one star, and she can be six hey, stars. Hey, okay. hey, It only cost me $700, okay? It was only 700 okay? It could have been way worse. It could have been way worse, okay? I got to S4, all right? I need Jesus. Okay, so we've arrived at some meadow. Another new character introduced to us. Every flower character. Oh God, he's doing the Drake playthrough. Here we go, he's boys. Usually very powerful, so I'm assuming. Verena is the is the best support in the game. We hate Verena because she's the only support that you can play right now. We are waiting for the five star support to come out. We're hoping that the next like couple of characters are five stars. Like five star supports because Verena is currently the only support that you can run. This one's OP and it's a lolly, so it's probably S tier, isn't it? I feel like damn, he kind of nailed that shit, right? That's crazy. Like this game's world map needs a little bit of work <laughs> because you just simply cannot see all of the different levels. I've been running around the mountain for like 10 minutes trying to get to this boss. Bro, I'm not running a daycare, man. I hate the stupid little lolly characters. I hate those things. I'm like a Cheng Li, Yin Lin, Yang Yang enjoyer. You know, I mean? can't find it. So I searched how to get to this boss on YouTube and this video has 401,000 views. So Oh, because he can't get in here. This took me forever. Oh my God. You have to like go, you have to like go up here and then go in through the tunnel. It's so annoying. Pretty much everyone who's tried to get to this boss has had to YouTube guide it. Literally everyone yep. in the comments just trying I to find the boss. I watched that video. I You're damn right This you has did. been like the fifth boss that I've had to YouTube guide how to get to. So this okay, well, all the rest of us only had to YouTube guide one of the bosses. So like, there's a problem here. Like you, you... Okay, at a certain point, it's just a user error, but he's not wrong. That one's particularly bad. This is going to be my first tacit field, and this will give me a bunch of echoes. Yeah, I'm doing so much more damage now that I've upgraded all my characters infinitely. I really want to update my echoes. Uh, challenge complete. My reservation about getting Cheng Li is that then I have to level her the fuck up. And I don't have that fire zone. I don't have that quest line done, guys. I legitimately don't have the, the quest line done that, like, the Sea of Flames. I don't want to do it. Questing in this game is so bad. I just don't want to do it. And she has to do this boss on repeat. I don't want to do it. So I don't know. If, I don't know, man. We made quick work of that. Okay, so what do we get for this? We got an epic echo. New function unlocked co-op mode. 
Okay, cool. There's actually a decent amount of timing to the combat. It's in fine this without the quest. No, they made it so that you have to do the quest now in order to proceed with the... Like, you can't even do the boss anymore unless you do the quest. Okay. But you can't just spam your abilities. It doesn't work as well. You kind of need to delay your attacks sometimes. Enter Heart of the Crownless. So this is surely going to be an epic boss This is boss a hard fight, so boss. I'm going to absorb you, my This is a hard friend. boss. Easiest dodges of my life. Wait. Isn't this the... Wait, isn't this the last boss press in the main F story? And press F on him. Never mind, mate. Ma he's just eating we this just guy. Want to combo that boss. Now nah, that's phase one, surely. <laughs> we took him down a little bit too quickly there. Menacing. The boss. last boss of the main story, kind of, kind of rough. Me. Another entity will emerge from it. I guess this is my phase two. The real boss fight. There we go. That's yeah, that's bloody yes. epic. Level that fifty thing. question mark. Is oh what my it is. god, dude! Man, this combat's so epic. I am dodging absolutely everything. Oh, it's so cool. What an epic boss fight. What is going on here? Don't mind me, I'll just stroll past all of it. Okay, sprint, Craig. Don't be lazy. What is going on? This is insane, This boss dude. fight's kind of crazy, what? bro. Big punch. Punch through the barrier. Straight for the neck. Choke Man, me. This is so cool. Props to the cutscene and cinematics team. The final encounter. Yeah, has... this and Scar were the best parts of the main story. Everything else sucked. Suppose. Oh, sweet. We've upgraded to Havoc. Havoc Rover unlocked. Let's try it. Dodge all of your attacks. Nice transform. Big damage. Big damage. Now we can pop the ulti. Let's see what her ulti does. That is probably one of the most epic boss fighters I've ever seen in an anime game. That was like anime Dark Souls. That's why we play Weathering Waves, boys. Bro, the combat is just so good. I'm so glad I have Jinshi, bro. Jinshi, I was on the fence about getting Jinshi. She's so much fun to play. She makes the game so much more fun for me. I love her to death. Vibes for me. So I guess this is like the newest content in the game. We're at the base so we've just now, finished like the first story and now we've unlocked this place. It's a very cool looking mountain Does that mean shaped like a dragon. Allow me to demonstrate the proper etiquette. Yes, mummy. <laughs> and a dragon. <laughs> has emerged you're gonna grant me three He's wishes gone, guys. time for another epic boss fight level 100 there's okay, jinshi level bro how did he get jinshi oh i guess it just allows you to play jinshi here <laughs> thankfully wow, wait for her ult her ult is crazy and now we're going into the sky no he didn't show it what the Apparently I did it. All of that fighting in high heels. What a beast. GG. It's optional. Ski down the mountain. We're, we're totally going to ski down the mountain. Pretty cool way to end the quest line. Ski down the mountain. Ah, uh, this quest line was way too long. Mainly because most of the questing sucks. In your heels. I hate that I had like, in a, like all of the content is gated behind this goddamn quest line. I had, it took me hours to get down. I was like, oh my God, I don't want to do this anymore. The next I just want to go play the game. So I've been playing a bit off camera. I've leveled up all of the characters to level 50, got their weapons to level 50. What the f I've been playing a bit off camera. Everyone is maxed. My union level is 30. Like, what the f And I've also been... Just a little bit, guys. Like, just been, on just... acquiring their echoes and leveling up the echoes as Holy well. Holy shit. Something I haven't touched on are the... Oh, God, yeah. I didn't even realize that this shit existed until halfway through, and then I was like, wait. Oh, f I have to level up their skills. So now all the skills are done leveling up, but that took forever. Talent trees in this game, yeah. I've gathered some materials, so first we're going to start upgrading at Chen this is Li, a, this, since she's my strongest This is character. a grind. It takes months to get all this shit done. Looking at the talent tree, there's also some talents that you can unlock, which seem to like quite heavily change the gameplay. Another thing I've recently unlocked is called Tactical Hologram. I've never done one of these. You don't, abort, abort, no, ba bad PI. Yeah, so we're gonna give it a try. Okay, okay he's only on difficulty one, we're good. Hologram. He's a pussy, he's only on difficulty Take one, guys. On this one. Right, let's go, can we do it? Yeah, this thing's got a lot of health. This would probably be a pretty good challenge if you didn't upgrade your characters or keep up with the progression. Yeah. Okay. We yeah, this is by far, yeah, this is amazing content, so good. It's so good. Got it. You put on some banger music and you just bang out these holograms. This is like peak weathering waves. This is the first level of difficulty down for this boss. Difficulty two unlocked. Okay. So you can just keep going through the difficulties. Current average resonator level is lower than recommended. <laughs> no. I mean, no. we no. can give it a try. Chill. Think it's doable. Big damage. Oh, no. I'm almost dead. There it is. 
Big damage, literally one shot. Good. All right. Okay, we've got it stunned. I think. Oh, would, he's using Verena. He's fine. Pretty impressive if we get this down on a non-recommended difficulty level. Yeah, there. you can typically do one level difficulty above what the recommended is if you're a gamer. Going two above is like there impossible. Is. So difficulty three recommends that I'd be level 60. Then it goes up to 70, 80, and then 90 is the yeah. final. And each one gives better rewards. New function unlock, Tower of Adversity. Okay, so you've got Stable Zone and then Experiment Zone. I'm guessing Stable Zone is going to be fairly easy. So it seems like for the first tower, I only need one team. But... I have not done the Tower of Adversity at all. Zero times. I have never done it. I'm assuming for later towers, I'm going to need some multiple teams. Havoc that's Rover, a man works. of culture. What's this? They have all run out of energy. So that's probably where you need different teams. Oh, we've unlocked the experiment zone. Honestly, Havoc Rover, Chang Li, Verena is kind of a good team. Isn't Chang Li's like a support DPS, right? She's not like main DPS like Havoc Rover is, but like... Let's push as far as we can go. Yeah, this one's a little bit harder. These mobs are level 50. I don't know, I don't know how much damage Chang Li so does. every floor level I use you Jinchi. climb, it's uh, harder and harder. We'll do our best. We can probably clear it though. There it is, we got it. Okay, Luminous energy, four. I hate her. And after this, my team will be out of energy. Ooh, this is a proper boss fight. And it's level 70. Yeah, there's no Ooh, shot with this, is there? No. We're gonna have to play perfectly. 20 levels lower might be too big of an ask. Yeah, yeah that's what I mean. Like, I think you, the issue here is I don't- You could theoretically do this if you were a Giga Gamer, but he one-shots you if you make any mistakes. We don't mistakes. have the DPS to take it down. Oh my God, it's, I think I might just be able to do it if I really focus. Man, I could kill this mob if I had like 30 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Our DPS was ever so slowly Tragic. Off. No. Tragic. Wait, I just realized that this game doesn't seem to... The problem with towers, you need to have more than one team. Well, I like that aspect of Weathering Waves. That's the grind. So many people come to me and they're like, oh my god, I hate the fact that I have to grind so many resonators. I love doing that. I wish I could do more of that. I wish I got more of this goddamn shit, bro. I'm constantly limited by this shit man lock material i would just do it all day i would love all my resonators behind being open certain days of the week like you'll other. get more i understand you just have to wait it's annoying games of this genre i might be wrong i hope to god that's the case that is huge if if it is some random door in the middle of nowhere i the hate door that. has opened i and did not like this event enter the somnor select echo is yeah i did not like this it it was like a fun concept. A lot of people like doing it. The rewards were incredible. I didn't like it that much. I like playing the real game. Roguelike game modes where you kind of go through an area, you kill different yeah. monsters, and you get cards and upgrade your character. I hope so, because those are always fun. Okay, Did you not save all the wave plates they gave out? Oh, they were all used. I, I have like four of those left. Maybe four. They're cooked. Eat it. They're Talk cooked. The cat. Because like that's when I play Weathering Waves, I'm playing a lot of Weathering Waves, okay? Like I'm I try to come in and at least try to do my dailies each day. I've been kind of bad about it while I was sick and stuff, but like I'm trying to get back in the swing of things and like do my dailies every day. But like I always make sure my wave plates, whenever I'm logged in, man, the wave plates get done. The wave plates gotta get done, bro. And yes, we Just get like to energy and BDO. Card. So we're gonna progress through this area and upgrade our abilities. Oh, this thing actually has an ability now. So it's a full-on transform with actual yeah, abilities. It has an E. You basically fight complete. with the that Echo and really not yourself. Cool. So now I've fully unlocked this piece of content. So let's do it normally. They should decrease Experience energy consumption. Those. Yeah, bro, let me play the game for longer. Like, why is that a bad? There's so many resonators in the game, and there's constantly more being added. Please let me play your game for longer. You know what I mean? Just doing the tutorial. If I click here, it seems like I can spend these memory points on a talent tree. And that's going to be a progression system specifically for this piece of content. Wait, what the f is this? Oh, this is for the. Okay, this is for I that can't event. actually unlock anything right now. So we're doing this on max difficulty. Oh, and in the top left, I'm actually given a rating on my performance. I really like that. I love it when games do that. Reduce oh, defense cool. and obtain more dream fragments, restore HP. We just take the, the difficult option every time. Combat or training? Combat. 
Okay, this is cool. All right, let's do the transform. Just choosing whatever's going to challenge me the most. I'm currently in double S, which Base. has given me a massive damage boost. So the game's rewarding me for playing well by massively increasing my damage for, like, pulling off combos and stuff. Okay, that's pretty cool. I need to do this that's, event, that's bro. That's really cool. Double S. Crits popping out. I only finished that with seven seconds remaining. So that was tight. That was really fun. We got S. We didn't get double S though at the end. I don't know if you can. That was really fun. I enjoyed that a lot. So with that, I've now had a brief look at Wuthering Waves end game content. You've got the depths of the elusive realm. You've got the Tower of Adversity, which I can't really progress more on. And Currently, my big thing is that I have to farm echoes really bad. I have to get like the optimized echoes and then I have to tune those echoes really hard. Um, that's what I'm trying to do right now. I'm trying to get really, really good echoes. Until I upgrade my characters and get more tea. That, to me, is kind of the end game currently. And then you go do, like, the the projection fields that he was talking and, about before. And then you've got the tactical holograms. Yeah, or the tactical holograms, yeah. Apparently get insanely hard at difficulty six with some mechanics that can Yeah, you put on some banger music and you just go so to town. at this town. point, we're probably borderline review territory, whereas this is just supposed to be a first impressions. I've basically... The event's already over. Each of the game's pieces of content. So let's wrap it up here with the pros and cons. So after jumping into Wuthering Waves uh, for a few days, says. my first impressions are as follows. Pros. The combat in this game for me is best in genre. The perfect dodge, insane. Based and true. Animations, echo abilities, and it's the only yeah, It's the only gacha game I've ever played. Mainly because the other gacha games just don't have that combat at that level. Bossiveness is just top tier and for me the number one selling point of the game. Correct. Movement feels really good. No yep. tedious climbing. You can run up walls, grapple, and... There's also like cancels and stuff you can do with your grapple and stuff to like make you move just a little bit faster, a little bit crisper. Reverse the world with ease. Sprinting also doesn't consume stamina, which is really nice. I really like that the echoes can be infinitely farmed in the open world. Other games of this genre just stop you progressing when you've used up all your daily currency. But in Wuwa, you can actually grind mobs, which I really like. Yeah, that, that grind is nice. I know I complained about this, like the opposite of this just a moment ago, but he is correct. I didn't know that's not a thing in other gacha games. They really just hard stop you. You can't even get echoes anymore. That's insane. The gacha in this game is much more fair compared to other games of this genre. Hard Pity is at 80 pulls. The weapon banner has no 50-50 at Hard Pity. You can Thank use God. convene tokens to get copies of the banner hero. And new players will basically get three five-star characters within a few days of playing the game, with one of them being a selector. Additionally... And the, the character you start the game with, to be clear, is named Rover. You're going to pick the female one. You're welcome. It's actually a really good character. Rover is actually really, really good. She can be like the centerpiece of your team. In patch 1.2, the devs are giving like both iterations of Rover, Havoc Rover and Normal Rover. Everyone another free five star called Zhang Li Yao, which is definitely a nice surprise. The game seems to actually have some engaging and difficult boss fights at end game. It has a nice soundtrack. If you don't really care about story, the game has a skip button, which I really appreciate, especially for side quests. From act five onwards, the cinematics, voice acting and story become quite impressive. Impressive, and the game had that's cap is nope everybody told me the same thing it gets better at act five it's still just completely garbage do you know why they give you choices it doesn't matter what you choose you you're you're railroaded onto the same story they yap the whole time. It's very frustrating. I hate it. It has some absolutely awe-inspiring story boss fights. The end of Act 6 and Act 7 blew my mind. Cons. If you don't like gacha systems, then this game probably isn't for you. I don't like the gacha system too much, but I'm okay with it. It's whatever. You, the early story pre-Act 5 is really confusing and quite boring. However, like I said, boring, things but not do confusing. pick up in Act 6 and 7. I personally find it kind of annoying that the game uses such confusing terminology. Yeah, they do a really poor job of explaining it. They're just assuming that you've played other gacha games. And as somebody that never played a gacha game, it had a very, very steep learning curve for me. Like, I had to spend a lot of hours trying to figure out the in-game systems and figuring out how, like, echoes work, leveling up resonators, changing team members, understanding how to swap and, like, do it, equipping weapons, how the pull system works. Like, all that was just super, super confusing 
to describe things. A monster in this game is a tacit discord. Characters are called resonators, we equip echoes, we farm tacit fields and holograms to level up our pioneer podcast for rewards. Like, bro, <laughs> imagine saying all that to a new player. Yeah, This dude, terminology yeah. made it especially right. hard for me to wrap my head around the story early on. So far, elements in this game don't seem to have a massive impact to the gameplay. I was expecting some status effects or something to give you a reason to make team comps with different elements, but so far that doesn't seem to be the case. Overall, I think Wuthering Waves is a fantastic anime. I think the elements do have a pretty big impact, but only at like the end game. That's what, that's when it's really going to matter. You can kind of brute force your way through most of the game. A gacha RPG for people like me who care about gameplay far above everything else, and I think this is a game that I'm going to keep playing. Where Wuthering Waves falls short seems to be in its early content, stuff that was probably developed years ago, but as you progress to the newer content, things like story, cutscenes, voice acting, and world design do improve quite a bit. This game fixes a lot of things that annoy me in other gacha games, such as tedious climbing mechanics, stamina a consumption for sprinting resources only being farmable on certain days of the week let's be honest no one gives a shit that the quest lines are bad or that the main story is bad because the characters are so well designed you know, and they're like super hot most of the time. Unfair weapon banner No gacha, one gives a shit. No option to skip dialogue even for side quests. Like and it's annoying, but you're willing to put up with it because the characters are so well designed. Not having anything meaningful to grind once I've used up my daily activity energy. So for those reasons, I think you should give Wuthering Waves a try. It's free to play, there's tons of events on right now, and as exactly, a new player, devils. the game's super generous about giving you free pools, resources, and five stars to get you started. So much so that you can probably figure out if there's is a game for you or not without spending a penny but that's it for this video True. as always that's another thing i like about wuwa you don't actually have to spend any money at all you, you, you really don't they give you a lot of free pulls let me know your thoughts on wuthering waves in the comments below are you excited for the upcoming patch 1.2 content and the free five star do you agree with my pros and cons shout out to the devs for sponsoring this video and don't forget to click my link to download the game and use code wuthering gift for free loot also don't forget to keep an eye on the one Code Weathering Gift, guys. Point two event where you'll be able to claim Zhang Li Yao, a five star resonator, for free. Help us out with the like for the algorithm. Sub to the channel for more RPG content. How do I? How do I put in his code? I didn't even know I could put in codes in Wuwa. Oh, you can probably fit in point two Weathering Gift for free loot. Weathering Gift. Yeah, I have no idea how to do that.